Today, he even is recognized as a very important person to remember in history about law. He was the one who led them out of Egypt, according to the story that um, Egyptian uh, life had become so uh, difficult for the Jewish people, and they wanted out of, uh, out of uh, Egypt. And so Moses was the one who had the strength to stand up before Pharaoh and say, let my people go and, and we will leave out of Egypt. And so this is even today still remembered a very heroic deed for Moses to step up and take the leadership of the Hebrew people and walk out of Egypt and leave Egypt. He took them up into the north where we today refer to it as, as uh, Lebanon and Israel, etc. The most important point I wish to, to make is the fact that there is so much more to this ancient prophet uh, leader of the Hebrew people than has been discussed publicly. And I want to talk about some of those things. Moses was called by God to come up into the mountain of Mount Sinai. And um, God was going to give Moses what we now refer to as the Ten Commandments, which is actually a new dispensation for Jewish law, a brand new way to understand the Jewish understanding of God. And so he goes up into the mountain and he encounters the presence of God, and God gives him Ten Commandments to bring back to the people to begin a new dispensation, a new understanding of God. And so when Moses comes down from the mountain, he sees the, the Jewish people still worshiping God the old way. They were worshiping a golden calf because it had to do with the, uh, the particular astrological times in which they were living. And the times in which they were living then at the time of the Ten Commandments was um, Taurus to Bull. And so they were worshiping the golden calf in relation to Taurus the bull. Well, Moses comes down and sees the, the, the Jewish people still worshiping in the old way and becomes very frustrated before he even talks to them. It becomes, becomes very frustrated and it throws the law. It was referred to as the law. And so Moses throws down the law and breaks the law. So Moses was the first lawbreaker. He was carrying uh, two stones on which the laws, the Ten Commandments, were written. And so he carries these down, uh, and then when he sees the Jewish people still worshiping the old way, he throws those down in frustration. And so that's what we get the term today, breaking the law. The Jews were worshiping the calf because they realized that they were worshiping the sun in the age, in the astrological age of uh, Taurus the bull. The next astrological age of which Moses was going to lead his people into the next, uh, next age was going to be Ares the Ram. And he was teaching them that there was a new way they were going to worship God. And this time they would blow the ram's horn to signify the age of the ram, the shofar. Here we have pictures showing that 